Linear versus exponential. It's the debate that's been happening since advanced settings released almost four years ago. To this day, some pros are still switching between the two, while others have solidified themselves as great through only using one, like Miro on linear and Re on exponential. Each one has pros and cons, and today you're going to learn everything you need to know about the best controller settings for each curve. So here we go. Starting with linear, the look and book curve that I personally play. My first tab of input looks like this, and it actually doesn't change between linear and exponential. I have the same 0.085 slide hold time. I have the same camera settings and I always keep vibrations off. For my linear settings, I love using a flat 2.0 on the build and edit sense. If you're on the game copying these settings right now, all I ask that you go over and put my code CARTER2K into the item shop. It's greatly appreciated. And you combine that with the look sense, which is 43% both horizontal and vertical with a 2% turning boost on both of those. Nothing on the boost ramp time and the ADS is the perfect 7% horizontal, 9 on vertical and the 1% boost. Again, nothing on boost ramp time. No look dampening time. And the dead zones I use on most of my controllers are 10%. I'm playing one game on each of the best settings so you can see what the differences are. So this will be the linear game and next we'll have the exponential game so keep watching. No, I did not expect that. Oh, that was such a dumb edit. Here we go, a little box fight. Let's see what we can do here. And if we don't get one pump, let's go. The biggest difference between linear and expo is the building, editing, and piece control. Linear is way better for this because the stick stays at a smooth, consistent rate the whole time. Obviously, you can still get really good at piece control on expo. Like, Re has definitely been one to prove that. He has some of the best controller piece control you can get, and he's been on exponential for years. But for the average player on expo, it's much harder, and you will always be more stiff compared to linear. Which all that means is it won't look flowy and smooth. It'll look a lot more choppy and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yo, did he hear me? Oh, what a shot. Let's go. Dang. I mean, you can kind of see right now the builds and edits are going down nicely. The thing that's struggling a little more is my aim and I am out of mats. Bro, <laughs> I'll take it, whatever. The entire point of linear is that it functions more like a mouse. Does. When you move a mouse, it doesn't start slow and ramp up. It moves at the exact same speed regardless of how short or long of a distance you move. Now just replace your mouse with your thumbstick. But if you move it just a tiny bit or all the way to the edge, the speed will always stay the same. Which is why exponential is typically better for aiming. But we'll get into that after I win this game, so make sure you keep watching. Alright, we got some linear builds and edits going down. You can go 170, let's go. That's the kind of piece control linear provides. Purple hat. I want that, but I also don't want. Bro, why do I never. I can never tell him to land below me. Oh, what a shot. No, bro. I have the pulse rifle guy dead. All right, I think this is the time to make a play on this guy. We're going to try to break him out. And of course, he connects to something. No. Oh, okay. Shot literally grazed him. No, I thought he was going to be dead, so I stopped shooting. No shot. I got four shots. Nah, whatever. Hitting a bunch of little pop shots. No way. Bro, I needed like literally 20 more masks and I could have... This fight could have been over. I have no masks. Dude, I'm hitting like really good edits, but my shots are just not there. I'm going to try to knock him down. I miscalculated that. No, why is there someone over here? Oh, those shots were pretty solid, but I have literally no map. Wait. No, Dude, wow, that was clutch. Dude, you can still have good aim on linear. When I say like linear is more for peace control, what I mean by that is it's just easier to be good at peace control on linear. But you can still do it at a high level on exponential. Just like how on exponential it's easier to be good at aiming, but it just means it's easier. You can still have really good aim on linear. Oh, 132. And he sniped the other guy to 1v1. I just don't have that many mats and he just killed that guy. No way, bro, what a shot. That was like one of the sweatiest seven Elim games I've played in so long. So linear settings are great for being smooth and having good peace control. Well, what are the advantages of the best expo settings? Well, let's check them out. So this top input tab stays the exact same. Well, both the build and edit multipliers go up by 0 0.2, so we're at 2.2 on both of those. Again, if you're copying these settings right now, don't forget that code. Look sense is still pretty similar at 43% horizontal, but 45 little uptick on vertical. And on exponential, we erase the boost. Then at ADS, we're a little bit higher at 10% both horizontal and vertical and again we erase the boot. Still no look dampening time. It's still 10% dead zone. These are settings that I tried a while back and I liked them so much that they actually made me switch to exponential for like a month. Well I got a pretty good one on the best linear setting. Now the expo. Let's see what the differences are. Uh oh. 50-50 and drop and I got a scroll wheel. 
Let's go. Can't out juke the expo. And right away, you can probably see that I'm a bit more stiff and the gameplay looks a little more choppy. That's not necessarily a bad thing because it helps with things like aim. Well, it really is all preference. How expo helps with aim is because of the curve. Remember how linear it moves the same speed regardless of how far you push the stick? Well, expo, if you move the stick a short distance, it moves your crosshair a really short distance. And with this, you can be crazy accurate on your aim. Let's go. Okay, bro, just shoot me straight through the wall. All right, this guy's been kind of annoying, and I don't really have mats, so let's... Oh, bro, that's exactly what I'm saying with the expo aim. Like, it slows your stick down for close-range shotgun shots, leading to way more max damage headshots. Your medium and long-range aim is way better as well. I mean, I can almost guarantee that if you switch to exponential, you will hit more shots. But remember, it's the building, editing, and peace control that will suffer a little more. Let's go. I love a little AI fight. Bro, I literally haven't seen AIs in my game in, like, an hour. And these guys are going to give me mats, too. Mythic Havoc. It is... Time. 200 pumps only on exponential setting. No, you really had to come in here and ruin my flow like that. Oh, no way I messed that up. The building editing is just worse. Even though that's more because I'm playing on 60 ping right now. You know what, honestly, bro, you can have the pulse rifle. I just don't care. Wow, that was a crazy shot. Just gotta hit him off this. I think I personally like linear a little more just because it feels a lot more flowy and smooth. But if you don't care about that, again, you can get good at all those on Expo. It just takes a lot more practice. Like, Ree is probably the first or maybe second best controller player right now, and he's doing all of this on Exponential. His building and editing is nuts, and he gets the really good aim. So, like, it's worth it for him, but there's definitely way more linear pros than there are Exponential. And honestly, it just comes down to preference because you can get really good on either one. Yo, no way there's someone over here. Oh my bro, if that guy would have killed me, oh my monitor would have been in pieces. I bet you he's on expo. No way, this is the full rifle guy too. Wait, is he out of mats? No, he's getting away. Yo, hello. You literally just came in out of nowhere. And he did it for nothing. Now we're both dipping. Oh, bro, I need more mats so bad. If these guys can fight, maybe I can hop in here in third party. Another blank. And the pine trees in the way. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I honestly had no idea there's someone up here until last second. Why do I keep ending up in these situations with literally no mats? Like, I actually just don't get it. And of course, I can't jump through that. I did not expect him to do that. No way, dude. He's probably... Dude, and he just died. If we let this guy win it, what are we doing? Well, that wasn't a bad game. Perfectly showed the highlights of Exponential. Make sure to use code CARD2K in the item shop, and thanks for watching.